Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing K-1 fiancé visas. We're specifically discussing them within the context of the interview process. That's interviews being conducted, presumably through the U.S. Embassy here in Thailand, but this information may be pertinent to those who are processing cases throughout the region, throughout the world. I've gotten a lot of correspondence, a lot of people who are kind of concerned or they've got excited uh, and they asked me, oh, you know, is the K-1 visa interview requirement being waived? And I said, why would you say that? And the, I think the reason for this is a recent, a recent announcement from the Department of State and the announcement is titled, Important Announcement on Waivers of the Interview Requirement for Certain Non-Immigrant Visas. And this is travel.state.gov. Quoting directly, the Secretary of State, in consultation with the Department of Homeland Security, has authorized consular officers through the end of 2022 to waive the in-person interview requirement for certain temporary employment non-immigrant visa applicants who have a petition approved by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. This new authorization applies to temporary workers applying for H-1, H-3, H-4, L, O, P, and Q visas who meet certain conditions, including that they are applying for a visa in their country of nationality or residence. Under this authority, consular officers have discretion to waive the visa interview requirement for individual petition paced H1, H3, H4, L, O, P, and Q applicants who were previously issued any type of visa. Previously issued any type of visa seems to be the common thread there. Now, quoting further, in addition, the Secretary extended previously approved policies to waive the visa interview for certain students, professors, research scholars, short-term scholars, or specialists, FM and academic J visa applicants through the end of 2022. Again, it appears to be for those who've already gotten a visa, but pertinent to folks who've been contacting me about this in the context of the K-1, the K-1, this does not affect, at least to the best of my knowledge, as of the timing of this video. So. Yeah, unfortunately, the K-1 interview process is still going to be required for those who are looking to bring their fiancé into the United States. The, I don't think that we're going to see interviews waived on these anytime in the future, if at all. So just presume we're still going to have to be dealing with interviews. I do know this is causing frustration for a number of my clients as well as the public at large. There are not a lot of slots associated with interview and we are trying to get folks, you know, slotted for interview as quickly as we can, but the situation is just such that there's quite a backlog and we're just not seeing people interviewed particularly quickly as of the time of this video.